All right, here I am, observation deck on top of Wildcat Mountain. Uh, pretty awesome up here. Gondola is right down there. Um, we also have a zip line thing where we just wear a harness and they fly you up the mountain. It looks really cool. I uh, wish I had more time to do that, maybe a little more money as it is now. Got the rest of my cash for the rest of my trip, and hopefully, it's enough to make it all the way to Katahdin. I'm not going to worry about that. Look at this view. This is phenomenal. That is Mount Washington. That right, uh, right there is the auto road coming down. Over there is, uh, I think that's Mount Adams, I think. And then that little one next to it, little bump, is Quincy Adams, I think. And that is Monroe. So basically, the AT starts there goes down there, goes over across there to Madison, um, down in the valley first, and then up, back up Madison, and then all the way down this ridge line, and then it zips down, cuts left, cuts way down here, and then I don't know if you can see it, there's a couple of hills there, you go back around this way, back to the base of Mount Washington, and into Pinkham Notch, cross the road at the visitor center, and then back all the way up Wildcat, which is up over there and it's a good climb so we went all the way around and zigged back in there's a couple signs actually as you're coming down Madison really confusing no white blazes um, very confusing you are coming down the hill all of a sudden there's this big boulder on your left hand side if you're northbound and there's a trail that comes across like this that's the cutoff trail you want to take it right there if you keep going straight down you see a blue blaze you're blue blazing down to 16 you don't want to do that I mean, unless you're in a hurry to get into Gorham. So you take a right, and you go around, you follow the path, no, no white blazes, no nothing. And then you come to another sign that says, go down another hill, complete right-hand turn, right angle. Um, and the sign's not even really clear that it's still the AT, because people have carved arrows in it and trying to, you know, make it more clear, but it just makes it worse. And, uh, yeah, you end up running all the way along there. Like I said, no signs, no, uh, white blazes, nothing. And, uh, come across the auto road for George Washington. That's the confusing thing about the signs. You just came from Mount Washington. This sign's telling you that's where you're going back to. And if you don't know that you, you're going to the base of it to cut across 16, it is confusing. I was confused. Then in the companion, there's no listing for the auto road, which you cross. You'd think that's a pretty decent landmark. You should you know, include it. They don't. And uh, I don't know. I was confused and angry. But once you cross the auto road, there's plenty of brand new white blazes right there. Um, and then you go down to the visitor center, Joe Dodge Lodge and stuff. Uh, just a bit of warning, the water in there, if you're resupplying water, it tastes awful. That is some of the worst tasting water I've had in a long time. Uh, fill up on the mountain before you come down if you need to, because that, that was awful. Uh, they do have a payphone basement, some food stuff. Looked very weird, expensive, and weird. Um, that's it. That's the mountain range, and this is Wildcat Observation Deck.